Welcome everyone back to Star My Table. On today's video, we're at Rossi's in Sheffield. It's an Italian restaurant, and we've not done many on the channel, have we? No. So it was pretty big inside as well, pretty cosy. Um, you tell us what we ordered. <laughs> yeah, so like Dev says, we haven't tried many Italians, so this has been recommended on the channel for me and Dev to come to Rossi's in Sheffield, just off London Road. So what we've done, we've ordered garlic bread, is that right Dev? So half a garlic bread with mozzarella cheese and the other half with their in-house homemade tomato sauce, yeah? Um, and then what we've done for pasta, because we both love pasta, I've chosen spaghetti carbonara, yeah, freshly made pasta uh, with nice freshly made carbonara sauce and Dev's chosen penne arrabbiata. So spicy penne pasta, rich tomato sauce, I'm hoping, Dev's hoping. So let's just see how good the food is. Uh, but like, like Dev says, really nice inside, cosy, uh, lovely ceilings as well, and lovely paintings on the wall, and some lots of statues as well. So it is a nice restaurant, very warm, very welcoming, lovely staff as well. So let's just see how good the food is, how good the garlic bread and the pasta is, and the flavours that it provides. And we'll see how good it is, uh, and the taste of flavours, and we'll give us our rating. Right everyone, uh, our garlic bread at Ross's in Sheffield has just arrived to the table. And it looks really, really nice, yeah? So what we've done, which is quite nice of them as well, they said that a lot of people do this at Ross's, but you don't have to have it like this, but what we did, is we've chosen half the garlic bread with mozzarella cheese and half with the in-house uh, tomato sauce, yeah? So um, nice. Really, really nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. And not bad size, probably about 10 inch, so not bad. We'll put, uh, what are you going to go for, Dev? I think I'm going to go for it. And what they've done, they put a little bit of black pepper on top, fresh black pepper, ground black pepper, just give it a little bit of flavour, yeah. yeah? So, let's just have a look at that. So, nice colour on it in the base. Pretty nice. Oh. Yeah. Let's just see. Mmm. It's fresh. Fresh. Very light base. Nice garlic flavour. It's actually really easy to eat. Garlic oil. Garlic flavour. Mmm. Fresh garlic. Mmm. Cheese is stinging out as well. Nice. Not bad. Really nice. The dough's really nice. You can taste the oil that's been infused into the uh, dough. Yeah, really, really tasty. Yeah, really nice. Really nice. Mm. Then this is the tomato one. So you can have the tomato, you can get, have tomato and chilli. You can even have tomato and mozzarella on top as well if you want. But yeah, let's just see how good this is. It smells really nice, rich flavour of the tomato sauce with the herbs on there. Nice. The tomato one. Mm. smells really nice. Let's try it. The base is really thin as well. The pepper is really nice on top as well. That's coming through on the flavour. But the tomato sauce, Neapolitan tomato sauce, I think, really, really rich. Um, so it's got some herbs in there coming through. Some basil notes, some oregano notes. So really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, normally. Sorry? Yeah, everything's fine, thank you. So, normally, we'd choose the garlic bread plain or with mozzarella cheese, but having it with the tomato sauce, really, really nice, isn't it? Very rich. It's a great salt. Do you like both, Dev? Yeah. Quite nice, yeah? 
They're really tasty, both of them. So, we'll wait for the, the mains to come. Is that right, Dave? Yeah. Let's see how good they are, but great start. Fantastic. So, see you in a bit. Right everyone, our main courses at Rossi's in Sheffield have just arrived to the table. Nice, yeah. Nicely presented. Uh, what do you think, Dev? Have, have you noticed something, Dev? Yeah. Got like, like like a bit of painting on the place. Yeah. Oh I don't yeah. Know if you can capture that, they've got a bit of colour on the place. Yeah, they have. You've got it round yeah. as well. Yeah. So this is uh, the carbonara, so linguine carbonara. So you've got a choice between uh, spaghetti or linguine, and yeah. Dev's got the penny arrabbiata. Yeah. Got some basil on top. So they've just sprinkled some fresh parmesan and some fresh egg ground with black pepper. Right, Rice. everyone, I think it's time for us to try it. Right, pasta. So actually, it smells really nice. Yeah, it seems really, really rich. Let's just see what it tastes like. The linguine pasta is really nice, not being overcooked, you know. Still got that bite, that nice texture. The pasta's decent, you know. Nothing. Oh, you can tell it's got the fresh egg yolk as well into the uh, carbonara sauce. And it's really nice. You can see actually how, how rich and it's got the golden yolk colour in there as well. Mm. Really, really nice. Pasta. Uh. Mm. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. What do you think of your portion, Dev? you think it's not bad or? Mm. Uh, I mean, that's the size of it underneath and they've just probably filled it up to about there. Yeah. It's, it's an unusual sort of plate, isn't it? Yeah. It's nicely presented, but is it big enough? <laughs> Me and Dev's was just over £10, I think mine just over £14, is, you know, it's a little bit on the pricey side, maybe a few pounds, yeah, on the pricey side I'll say, but nice. They've got plenty of main courses as well, so apart from pasta and pizzas they've got uh, chicken, main courses, uh, pork, uh, veal, you name it, they've got yeah, it's it. Got a Fish. Kit. It's got a quite nice spice level to pasta. Carbonara though, the taste is really nice. Mm. 
it's not got loads and loads of sauce, but it's, for me, because I've tasted a lot of carbonaras, this is really nice. This is more I would, what I would expect of an Italian carbonara. This is Dev's uh, Eddie Arigretta, so you can have spaghetti as well. But let's just see it's, what this is like. It looks really nice to be fair, yours. Spaghetti carbonara. Oh. I mean, this is what I wanted. Creamy. Nicely cooked. Mm. It's really nice. I mean, it is a bit pricey, but... The food that you tasted yeah. is not too bad. I would say, for me, the Abriatas served nicer than the Carbonara. I think they probably could have served that on a better plate, a bit more elegant sort of plate. What do you think, Dev? Yeah. This looks like it's just been thrown on the plate to me. This looks more fancy than yeah, it being around plate. Um, but I don't, I'm probably thinking that it's probably not a lot of portion for over £10, yeah. I, th I think it should be more. Flavour, the chilli is coming through on that, on the sauce, there's a rich tomato sauce, nice. Pasta's been cooked really nice, so it's not too overcooked. Um, it's got that al dente uh, taste and texture. I mean the carbonara, I actually don't mind, it's really nice. Oh, it. The taste of the sauce is really nice, yeah. I can't, I can't fault the sauce. Not bad. So which one? They are both different, Deb. So yeah. which one do you prefer? I think I prefer the pasta. I mean, they're both different. But I like pasta. Mm. They are both different. Can you have a little more swap? Yeah. yeah. Let's have a little bit more taste of the carbonara. Dev can have his pasta back. It's nice, I don't know if you can pick the specks of the egg yolk in there, but. So, I'm just gonna try uh, the bacon lardons. Yeah, so, didn't quite taste it before, so I'm just tasting it. Nice flavor. Sweet, sweetness, a lot of sweetness. A little bit of smokiness coming through. Mm. Not bad, so. Mm. You good start right now? Really? Yeah. So we've come along uh, to Rossi's in Sheffield to try out their Italian restaurant, really nice inside, lovely service, food, tasty, yeah, um, enjoyed it. So we started So we started off with the garlic bread, half and half, so half mozzarella cheese, half with their in-house Neapolitan tomato sauce, very rich, nice herbs in there. So a really nice way to start, I love the garlic bread to be fair, really nice. The pastas, um, carbonara, really nice, yeah, very rich. Uh, authentic taste to it, yeah. Proper for me, Italian carbonara. Uh, and then Dev's gone for the Arabiata. Got a nice flavour in there, got a nice spice, nice herbs coming through. For me, I prefer the carbonara than the Arabiata. I also think that the portion size on the Arabiata is too small. Uh, but for the flavour, the taste on its own. So, my star rating for both dishes plus the dark bread. I reckon, on a star rating, 8.5 star rating, yeah. What were you, Def? I mean, the go about to start off, I mean, we finished that quite quick and we did enjoy that. Um, and I really enjoyed it and the base was 
really nice as well. And mm. it, it was really easy to eat. And uh, so to the pasta and spaghetti, they're really nice. I do prefer the pasta more because it, it warms you up a bit more as well, I think. Because uh, it's got a bit of spice. But, uh, to the story, I think it's got to be. Uh, 8.5. Yeah. So, really, really nice. So, lovely restaurant, like I said. Lovely staff. Very friendly, very welcoming. So, if you're not trying out Ross Season Sheffield, check it out. And if you have checked it out, let us know what you think of it. But, if you do come, yeah, and to try out the food, let us know what you've had. Let us know what you think of the food, the taste, the quality, also the portion size, and yes. the price as well. At the bottom, it's actually got a bit more sauce to it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it'd be brilliant to have your feedback. Um, parking on the side of the restaurant, very, very cheap. So I think it's 90 pence an hour, or after half past six, it's free, free of charge. So Monday to Saturday, it's free of charge. So after half six, so on Sunday, I think it's free. So really, really nice, cheap parking on the side, no issues parking. So thank you so much for your recommendations to the channel. Keep on sending them. Keep on uh, subscribing to the channel, sharing the videos, liking the channel. Brilliant, yeah? So thank you for your, all your banging support for me and Dev and the channel Storm and Takeaway. Anything to say, Dev? So keep on watching the channel and subscribing. So until next time, for